Hi, I'm James Schelling Law, and I'm here at Las Vegas at Ensemble's annual meeting. And this is actually the second uh, Ensemble under the new regime, the new ownership. And I'm here with a familiar face, but maybe not for here, uh, Beth Butzloff, who's the uh, Senior Vice President, Partner Relations, newly within the last few months hired. And we're going to talk to Beth about uh, all the programs she's developing for Ensemble. And she has a little experience doing this, so it's going to be interesting to see uh, what, she, what she's doing. And you're going to find out out about all that and more on Insider Travel Report. Now, Beth, first of all, it's great to see you here. Uh, uh, we've been known each other for a long time at different, different, different organizations. Uh, but my first question is, you know, obviously you were with two other pretty big consortium and, and you saw something here. What was it that, that attracted you to this job? Well, there is just this incredible vibe here. And I'm, I'm sure you're feeling it right now. I mean, the, the people and the members here are these really warm, friendly, incredible vibe, but also they have the history and the breadth of experience mm -hmm. and this young feeling about them. So I, I saw this opportunity as a, a time to like grow and do something innovative and different. And, and plus you could run the whole store and about your partner relations, right? That's right, yeah. So now this is an incredible incredible um, opportunity for me as well, but just to, to reinvent something. And so I'm, yes, it's just been so far, my two months in, <laughs> two months, two months <laughs> it's been incredible. Now let's go talk about some of the the, the supplier com programs that you're overseeing. Yeah. Uh, and you walked in, and you know, Ensemble had programs before under the old regime when it was a cooperative, and you sort you're sort of redoing all of those, right? Yeah, we're looking at changing that sea of sameness out there. Right. I mean, there's just this ocean of conformity, so to speak, and we're just trying to shine out there. So, so you, we're, you want to make a, make a big difference because obviously everybody has programs like this, right? You 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 help develop some of them, right? <laughs> That's right. And I, I think that Ensemble brings something a little special to, to the industry. And so we want to really hone in on that and make sure that we are being sh seen the, as that special jewel out there. And so we're going to create programs that um, really make our advisors shine. Well, one of the things that uh, because of the acquisition by Navigator, you walked in with a pretty good air program. Yes. Which And so tell me a little bit about that air program because some of the other guys don't quite have that. Yeah, our air program's fantastic, especially with the tool ADX. Right. So it, it really... The magical ADX. It, right? Yes, the <laughs> magical ADX that is unbelievable. And it really maximizes the earning potential for advisors and so we work with 14 different um, airlines and more to come so stay including including domestic airlines that's right, right. that's yeah. right so stay tuned more to come on that that end because I think that's one of the big features is that people forget to book air you know we, we we probably didn't help in the day when after commission cuts and I remember years ago and it was actually Roger Block who said to me from travel leaders like why aren't you telling them to book air because you're leaving money on the table and in this system you actually have commissionable air right that's right and we had a test from one of our members just a few days ago and he he increased his revenue by like 40 percent just by booking air so mm -hmm. incredible incredible and you can't leave that money on the table whether it's car whether it's air or anything like that yeah. now let's talk about something that, that everybody has a program and they did ensemble did have a hotel program yeah. but you're kind of revising that yeah. hotel program tell us a bit about what you're doing and and what you're going to have I, I don't even know if you have a number in terms of hotels that are now yeah. preferred yeah we have about a thousand amenity um, um, hotel mini um, yeah. uh, participants and we are really digging in to see what we how we can shine again what everyone has the oh yeah the, yeah. Yeah, the early check-in late check out of uh, 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 right. something in the room exactly. all this kind of thing exactly. what can be different right well and we're gonna we're discovering that so we're talking to members what is important to them and what is important to their client and so how can we make sure that we're different we want to be um, the the shiny new kid on the block. <laughs> well, also, do you, also, do you want all luxury? Do you want? I mean, uh, some programs have a, a smattering of four star. Um, one of your old shops always had five star. That was it. Yeah. Um, yeah. And then people are developing new collections all the time. I was just at one. Uh, one of your former associates uh -huh. just put in a new collection. Yeah. So it's getting a little confusing. But maybe that I don't know if you need to do that or do something else. Well, I think we're just right now looking at creating a program that's speaks to our members mm -hmm. and we're going to expand upon
on that um, a little later, but we have incredible partners here and um, we're just going to focus this year on them and make sure they get our attention and focus. So you're yeah. going to build that program up and then of course an area I know it's dear to your heart, cruises, yeah. uh, which you know one of your former jobs that was what you oversaw yeah. was cruises. Yeah. Now what's your cruise program going to look like? Well we are really excited about the cruise program. This last year has been a great foundational um, start to a program that we're going to expand upon mm -hmm. and do things a little differently. And we have this little tool, you may have heard of it, it's called ADX. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> it all comes back to 80s act, right? <laughs> and, but it gives us a lot of um, room to do some pretty special things. So I'm not going to um, spoil the surprise, but we'll uh, maybe be here next year and have some things to say. That'll be interesting. And do you, how, roughly how many cruise partners do you have now? We have about 30. 30 of cruise, yeah. We're, it's a good portfolio, really nice um, variety of yachts and ocean and expedition and river so it's a yeah it's and a good you probably want to look at everybody has hosted sailings i mean we'll have that but you got to maybe think of something more right right we i mean at this point again i've been had the privilege of being at other companies and they all have incredible programs and we just want to be a little different now talk about land because uh, you talked about this yes. in your address whether that's tours whether that's uh, you know uh, destination management companies dmcs whether it's tourist boards uh, what's your program around to look like? Well, we really want to lean into DMCs because they are the secret sauce of um, making someone shine with their client. So we are really looking at all types of sizes of DMCs, a small, medium, large, providing all different types of am amenities and services. And we want to make sure that we're accommodating all parts of the world. So um, that's going to really be something that we focus on in the upcoming year and then educating the advisor on why you use a DMC. And you also are working with, with uh, tourism boards. I know Switzerland yep. is here, other ones are like that, and you always had that. That, right? Yeah, and actually, Jamaica's here. They are exclusive with Ensemble. Yeah. We sat down with them and had an incredible meeting. They're an incredible tourism board. They said, we think you're the best fit for us. They're trying to expand their luxury focus. So um, we're excited to have them, and we're excited to expand that partnership. Fantastic. Well, uh, final question is, you know, obviously you're trying to make these programs different, and you're really, you just got here two months ago. It's a little unfair <laughs> of me to say, how are you going to do it? What's going to happen? So I gather in a year we'll be standing here, and you're going to tell me all the, the ways that you've made these programs different, right? That's right. I'll, I'll give you all the inside secrets, James. Okay. <laughs> I hope so. We, we'll, we'll, we'll depend on that. Yeah. Uh, anything else? We go out to about 127,000 travel advisors, and maybe some of them uh, want to consider joining either Ensemble or an Ensemble agency about what's going on here at Ensemble from what you've seen so far. Yeah, you know, when I first started, and again, two months in, I just got this feeling of being home. The people here are so friendly and kind, but they're also professional. They have the history and the breadth mm -hmm. of experience. And there's this youthfulness now. And like, we're, we're ready to take on the world. We're, we're, we have something to prove, and we're going to prove it. Well, that's great news, Beth, and congratulations on the new post. Happy to see you here and overseeing these programs. And, and we, we're going to take you up on that offer next year. We'll be talking about what, what you've done and, and what these programs are now and how they differ from maybe some of the other guys. And you should know since you developed a lot of those. So, again, thank you so much for taking the time to speak with us. Thank you so much. I'm James Schillinglaw, and this is Insider Travel Report.